Hi friends, so today we are going to look at a medium level interval question called three number sum. So we are given an input array and a target sum. So we should find all the three numbers which add up to the target sum. Okay, so for example, minus two minus 8, 2 and 6 add up to the target sum, minus 8, 3, 5 add up to the target sum and minus 6, 1, 5 adds up to the target sum. Uh, so we need to find all the three numbers which add up to that this sum and the numbers have to be arranged in ascending order. So it's minus 8, 2, 6, minus 8, 3, 5, minus 6, 1 and 5 like it should be arranged in ascending order. So that's it. These are the two inputs and we should generate a double dimensional array consisting of this output so so this should be the output so how are we going to do that is so the first step what we have to do is we need to sort this array so after sorting this array we get this one so after getting this we create three pointers so the first pointer will point here and the last pointer will, right pointer will point to the last digit of the array. So, and then this one will point to the one, one plus one uh, element after the, uh, this one index pointer. So, this is the starting point. So, what we do is, we first find out the sum. So, the sum so the sum is minus 8 plus minus 6 minus 8 plus minus 6 plus 12 so minus 8 plus minus 6 plus 12 is minus 2 so since this minus 2 is lesser than so it's almost the same thing as we did to the 2 array sum so be sure you uh, uh, be confident in that first one before you attempt this one so just like the 2 number sum so here we get the uh, target as minus 2 but minus 2 is lesser than 0 so we need to increase the target sum to make it closer to 0 right so in order to increase the target sum uh, we move this uh, this this pointer to the next one because we want it to increase if we do this one the numbers are decreasing right 12 and 6 so this target sum will again decrease we don't want it to decrease we don't want this one to decrease we want this one to increase since it is minus 2 hoping that it will come close to 0 or b0 so what we do here is we bring this one to over here so after that we do the same thing um, so what we do is we calculate mm, shit, minus 8 plus 1 plus 12 so what we get over here is uh, 5 so now this 5 is pretty much greater than 0 right so we need to reduce this y to bring it closer to 0 so for reducing we move this pointer because now it's pointing to 10 when it points to 6 obviously it will reduce so we take this right pointer and we reduce it by 1 okay so now again let's check so so it it will be minus 8 minus 8 so plus 1 plus 6 so it will be minus 1 so now you now you must have got it so now again minus 1 is very much lesser than 0 right so we uh, it wanted to increase so we move uh, this pointer to the 
right side so after this you again check it so it will be minus 8 it will be minus it will be minus 8 so it will be plus 2 and then it will be plus 6 is equal to 0 so in this case it is equal to 0 so we need to add minus 8 2 and 6 to the target sub, uh, to the double dimensional array so th it will become the first element in the double dimensional array so after this now you need to understand this so now that uh, you have found a num three number sum which is equal to the target sum but there are still numbers between there right so you move in simultaneously now as soon as you find that there is a number you move the left pointer to the right ones and move this right pointer also to the left one once so you after finding that you move both of them together so after that after doing this step you again repeat this same process so uh, minus 8 so it will be So it will be minus 8 plus 3 plus 5. So again we found it as 0. So we add it over here. So then now again if we do it again. So left pointer will become greater than the right pointer. So if we move this one over here, if we move this one here, the left pointer will become greater than the right pointer. So at this point, we come out of the loop. After coming out of the loop, now we have one more loop written for this main index, right? So we move this one by one. We move this one by one and then uh, the left pointer and the right pointer should again point to the same thing. So that is one element after the main index and uh, this one will point to the very end. So that's it. So again we just continue the same thing in the second iteration. So again we do so minus 6 plus 1 plus 12 so minus 6 plus 1 plus 12 is 7 so 7 is very much higher than 0 right so since it's very much greater than 0 we reduce it we try to reduce it so now it is minus uh, 6 plus 1 plus 6 so Okay, so now you get one. So, uh, so now one is very much greater than zero again. So we need to reduce it. So now what we have here is n six plus one and plus five. So minus six plus one plus 5 which is equal to 0 so now we need to add this one over here in the double dimensional array since it adds up to 0 so next we need to now that we found that, that number equal equal to 0 we move both of them we move both of them at once 
Okay. So now again, again after moving both of them, now it's a normal process. We check if it is greater than the target sum, if it is greater than the target sum, we move this one or else we move the left one. So over here minus 6, 1, minus 6, 2, 1, 3, it is not equal to 0. So again we move this one to, to the left and um, we move this one to the right and this one to the left. So left pointer will become greater than right pointer. Uh, so we come out of this loop and then we uh, increase this one and then again uh, make these pointers point to uh, the left pointer should point to one index after this one the right pointer will point to the end and we just continue the same thing so that's it this is the algorithm so now let me write down the steps so step one so step one is to sort the array right and step two is create the three pointers where where the main index so mi is equal to uh, mi is equal to the first element this one okay first element and uh, lp that is the lf pointer it must be equal to the index after that one so mi plus one so and next uh, rp will always point to the uh, array dot length minus one so this is the starting point so next step three find find the sum if sum is equal to equal to target sum then then add it to then add to the dd a next in so else uh, else uh, if sum is greater than target sum if that sum is greater than the target sum that sum is greater than the target sum uh, we reduce it so we do rp minus minus else we do uh, lp minus minus so we have we forgot that step important step wherein we have to move simultaneously right so that one if sum is equal to equal to target sum okay then add it to the double dimension on the day and do lp plus plus and rp minus minus so So this is like a while loop, so I'll just mention that over here. Why when uh, LP is greater than RP. So that's it guys. So this is the steps. So over here we have one for loop for this.
main index since we have to go through each and every one so this whole for loop okay it is enclosed in this one so why this for loop is there because uh, we checked right so main index we checked for minus 8 first and then we did these uh, left uh, left pointer and right pointer N next we need to move the main index again to minus 6 then again do the left pointer right pointer manipulation so yeah like uh, that we continue so there is a for loop over here so which points to the main index so anyway let's uh, implement the code so, um, shit, one So, so step one, guys. Uh, sort the array. So we sort array. Start sort array. So after sorting, we create the array, right? Okay. Yeah. So after sorting, we create the pointers. Mm. So main index I'll create later. So I'll just do uh, LP. Okay, wait. So int main index is equal to zero, right? So int left pointer is equal to uh, mi plus one. So I'll just keep it one and RP int right pointer is equal to array dot length minus one so after this we have a right right to the for loop okay this for loop should come over here So for loop, so int i is equal to zero, i less than uh, array dot length and i plus plus. Okay. So after this, find. So actually we are iterating the main uh, index point using i so we don't need this one so initially i is equal to zero so it will be pointing to the first element so l left pointer is equal to i and since left pointer should point to the main index plus one so it will be i plus one and right pointer is equal to uh, the same thing array dot length so control v so the point to array dot length minus one that's so this is creating the three pointer so i is pointing to the mi and lp is pointing to the one element after mi and rp is pointing to the end so after this we put the while loop while lp is greater than rp because once lp get a while 
uh, it should be well lp is lesser lp should always be lesser than the rp right so once it goes above we need to come out of this loop once lp becomes greater we need to come out of this loop so inside this loop we check the sum same what uh, like this one so if if so before that let's calculate the sum sum is sum is equal to what's that uh, array of i plus array of array of uh, l p plus array of r p so if this sum is equal to equal to target sum so we uh, add it to the tda so we have what we have here is is you should return a list so i'll just create one list okay so so yeah this stuff in t in t in t in j array list is equal to new array list in t in j ok so if this is so this is the list so we create new so int new int uh, uh, what's the term ok these things array of i next array of lp array of rp Of so this one we need to add it to a uh, integers. Uh, I mean list a uh, list dot add so we need to add it to the list. After adding to the list, we do LP plus plus and RP minus minus. Okay, so this part is over. So if it is not equal, if it is not equal to the sum, else if we check for if sum is greater than target sum if the sum is greater than the target sum we need to reduce it so we do rp minus minus else we do l lp lp plus plus sorry this should be lp plus plus 
so after finishing this loop uh, we finish this for loop and uh, we, we finish this while loop then this for loop we check for each and everything so and next we need to which one is this bracket pointing to this okay this one is the mm. okay so after this we need to return uh, list after this we just put this bracket okay so yeah that's it guys uh, let's test if it works array list of integer cannot be converted to started the brackets here and some issues there in 47 okay I'll just define that into some okay then go Okay, so this is the primitive type. I'll just convert this one to class. Okay, uh, one test case it has passed. So all tests so run code. Yes, wow, well, friends it finished in the first try itself all the test cases have passed I don't know if what I am doing leads to the destination <sighs> every day every night my mind is heavy okay friends that's all uh, thank you for being a part of my journey. Uh, I'll see you again friends. Bye.